Good morning, people. Welcome back to the vlogs. Here we are in Texas, Texino, and I forgot to pack my gym clothes. Can you believe that? However, I've got the t-shirt I wore last night, very creased, and I got one pair of shorts. So yeah, we're gonna hit the gym real quick, as per in uh, in these trips. We can't be out here doing this and not working on ourselves still. That's still the goal and the theme of this entire year. People might look out the window and think, oh, it's not a great day, but in Texas, this is my perfect day. Because it can get really hot here, like, I enjoy seeing clouds, because I enjoy seeing normal weather for me you know trying to find the gym where is it man this is confusing also my whoop just isn't charged i forgot to charge it but it doesn't matter we'll just get it in regardless you know i'll make up the strain oh my goodness me 14 strain no way okay well there's a pool but where's the gym actually confused oh hello mate let's go success success it's actually pretty decent you know look at this look at this Ooh. A little warm up on the treadmill we've got forest versus liverpool as well right now happening so it should be a good hour or two well, I'm not going to be in the gym for an hour, obviously. For like 30 to 40 minutes. Gym done, all showered up, ready to go, and now we are on to our next destination, which I'll explain to you in the car. Also, can someone explain what this means to me? Why does it say yes and no? Like, yes, no to what? So if you didn't watch the vlog yesterday, first and foremost, pause this video, go and watch that one, leave a like on both, subscribe to the channel on both. Uh, you'll know that I'm going back to the rodeo today to do the carnival part of it, you know, the, the fried Oreos, the fried ice cream, the fried butter. I'm not sure if I'm going to try that myself, but you know, it's available at least. But if you watch yesterday's vlog, you'll know that before we do that, we're gonna go watch a softball game. A friend that I was with yesterday called Jackie, she's got a kid who's called Liam, and he's playing in a softball game, his first ever one. And when I was here in Texas last year, I would stay at their house a little bit, and I haven't seen him in a while, so I thought I'd go, not surprise him, but I thought I'd go and show up, watch the softball game to start the day off. It's also really cool, by the way, because it's like a neighborhood, and like, there's a huge like softball game. It's kind of cool, American culture. So then we'll come back here to the carnival, because the carnival doesn't start until like 2 p.m. anyway. I made it, but I'm in the wrong place. There's so many things here, though, like, Literally, as I'm driving in, there's people playing, there's like 12 different football games, like our football games going on. Like, fit, uh, girls, boys, you know. Um, then there's like softball going on. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. This is just like next to everyone's houses, and there'll be like millions of these. Well, not millions, there'll be thousands of these in different neighborhoods. It's crazy. Anyway, I need to find where I'm actually going. Sick. Let's go, Liam. You see it now, right? I hear we are locked in. What do you call it? Do you call it softball or do you call it baseball? This is um, machine pitch baseball. Machine pitch? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? They have a machine pitching. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know this sport, man. Does he, does he still play football? Yeah, I'm still going to keep him. Right okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, football, football, football. <laughs> I prefer football, man. It's just fast paced. It's football just too means. slow. No, Although no. it's a little bit, right now they're barely starting out. So okay, bad. okay. But I've seen you play. Me? I've seen you play this. Oh, well, softball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was more, even more boring. How dare you? <laughs> That's if you're cold. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, oh, ah. Alright, good cut, good cut. Alright, all done with the baseball now. Back in the car, or oh, softball, machine ball, whatever you call it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was thinking it's so, like, baseball in general is a sport, not this game, but in, in general, it's quite a boring sport. But when it gets going, it does get quite fun. Like, when they've got, like, a few people on, and they can get some runs, it's quite fun, but otherwise, it's just really, really boring. And it makes me even more grateful that football is my sport, because football is just perfection. It's beautiful. The plan now is to go get some food, and then get back to the carnival, which should be open soon. I have no idea what to expect. I don't really know how it works in terms of ticketing and stuff, but I think you just go there and buy tickets and do stuff. I'm not gonna do any of the rides, but I wanna try some of the food and show you guys. And now I'm back fully solo, which I, I kinda like being on my own. Or does that sound too morbid? I don't know, I just like, I don't know, I like being on my own. I'm gonna take you to my favorite food spot that I didn't go to last trip. Uh, and then we're gonna go to Best Buy, try and get like a phone mount for the car. Um, but yeah, we move in, we cook him. Let's do this. Here we are, Shipley's Donuts. Unreal. This is what it is, guys. Kalachi. Right here, look. Sausage and cheese. That's what I went for. But look at these things. They're so, so good. Shipley's Donuts. You gotta love it. I was learning Spanish at one point and then I stopped, but it actually would help me in places like this because that was actually quite difficult for me to actually get through what I needed. But anyway, got the French vanilla latte here. Let's go, let's give it a spin. That's good, very sweet, but it's good. And then guys, we're at the main event. Honestly, I might literally start in the UK, London or somewhere, a place that sells these kalachi things like as they do in Texas, because they're so good. Apparently it's a southern thing, so it's not just Texas, it's like a, I don't know, a southern thing, but they came from, someone in the comments helped me out, they came from Europe somewhere, like Czech Republic maybe, something like that. Sorry if I offend someone with that, but essentially what it is, is it's like soft bread, okay? It's not like donut bread, it's not like, it's like regular bread, but, soft still you know then inside is a sausage but i'm gonna show you these, these things are so good oh my goodness me 
There's the inside, and they're just so good. I think I had one of these in Estonia way back when. But anyway, look at this, cheese inside. This kind of sausage is like my favorite kind of sausage as well. Well, hey. Um, these are so good. You can also get like jalapenos in there as well. Shipley Donuts, the best place. I find in Texas for like morning breakfast stuff. I always used to go back uh, when I was here before. Came to Target instead because the Best Buys were like miles away. I think they still have what I need, uh, the phone mounts, so fingers crossed for that. Uh, I also want to check if they've got the new Prime flavor and the new Mr. Beast Feastables. Because if they have both of those, that's like two new videos I can do, you know? So fingers crossed for that. Also, there's zebra crossings here, they're really weird. Look, those yellow lines are the zebra crossings. I get confused every time. I, I just walked away from those <laughs> instead of walking towards them. I've always been like a lover of big Tesco, you know? You go UK, you know, chilling around, evening, get some snacks, big Tesco. But I went recently and it was just, knowing this is here, it just wasn't anywhere near it. And then HEV as well. Maybe I'll take it to HEV. HEV is crazy as well. For someone who's in the UK, I would say that these places are just like, wow. Look how big it is and clean it is. Tesco is just, ugh. Oh my God, Prime's here. Okay, here we go. Look at this, guys. Look how much Prime they have in America. It's mental. Look at that, they have so much. But not the new flavor, right? This is for everyone who says, oh, in the UK, you know, Prime's just like flopping. Nah, man. <laughs> nah. America's a different kettle of fish. Chocolate Isle, looking for the Mr. Beast new recipe, Feastables. Here we go, we have it, we have it, we have it right here. Mr. Beast Feastables, new flavor, right? Milk crunch and milk chocolate. Thing is with this, I want to try it for a whole vlog title. Like, I think try Mr. Beast, I try Mr. Beast's new, is a good title, right? Or a good little video. Let me buy it anyway now, and I'll do a whole, because I think I'm going to title this one a different one than that. What do you reckon, guys? Hmm. Let me ask Kofi. Join the Kofi guys, the membership link in the description. I'm gonna ask them what they think I should do, okay? All right, look at this, the collector's spot. Oh my God. Should I buy JJ a little present? <laughs> there are so many videos I can film here, man, honestly. I can go through this one shop. I just walked past the Pokemon stuff as well, and I'm thinking, for a Pokemon video, surely. Oh, Govi lights too. I was thinking about doing a whole Pokemon video here too, like Target shopping hall. I might move here, man, I'm not gonna lie. I just can do so many things here, honestly. Just endless videos all the time. Garmin, Fitbit, where the car mounts? There we go. MagSafe and wireless chargers. Okay, I don't need a wireless charger, but I need magnetic mount. I'm trying this drink as well, Celsius. I keep, I keep seeing everyone have this, but I wanna try it myself. Oh no, hold on. I need one that sticks to the dash. Okay, this is it, that's it. Here we go, perfect, perfect. I'm not even joking, I might come back here and stat pad some videos, like British guy. I'm gonna do so much British guy, by the way. I'm sorry for you guys, but just accept it. British guy goes to, Texas supermarkets, HEV and Target, and just do a whole video in here and there. And then British guy goes to, I don't know, Chick-fil-A for the first time, Whataburger for the first time, all these things, you know? Although I've been to Chick-fil-A and Whataburger before, so I won't call it the first time, but British guy tries Chick-fil-A. There we go. Uh, I'm getting two things now. I definitely should get some more, but I'm gonna come back here, I think. <laughs> so we'll see. But I got this Solstice drink and then the, the plug adapter. My laptop, I do need a, like a converter. Every time I come to America, I buy a converter. I lost mine, couldn't find it in the apartment. And then down here is loads of Pokemon stuff as well, so I want that. I also want the new Prime for a video. The new Prime would be bang as well. The new flavor, but I can't find it. I need to check with JJ. Maybe where is it, man? Where is it? Like what shop, what shop that has it, you know? I always get so gassed and so happy when I see Prime on a reel. All right, there we go. Job well done. Got both in hand. I will be coming back here. On the new Prime, man, where is it? Where is it? Come on, surely it's here somewhere. Nah, it's just the energy right here, right now. Funny part is, it's arrived at my house in the UK, <laughs> as well as the, uh, the Prime. UFC 300 one as well, so I've got both of them, but I just don't have them in America. But I thought for the vlog, it's more exciting to get it here and now, all right? I keep forgetting where I parked the car, because it's not like, it's not my car, obviously, and it's not Tesla, so I just keep forgetting what actually is it. But it's a blue navy Nissan Rogue. I'm feeling kind of rogue, you know? <laughs> I'm joking, just being silly. All right, here it is. It's actually not bad, you know? It's pretty cool, I'm enjoying my drive. I missed the fast burst of acceleration on the Tesla. Actually helps so much, you know, I'm not joking. Honestly, I just love it here, man. I love, I love America, I love Texas specifically. Just expect so much more uh, US vlog content this year with America. I'm gonna just keep coming back. Whenever I can, I'm gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna still do other trips as well. I think Jamie was texting me with a vlog saying the best content is just to just go, like, go somewhere. You know, don't even like, just go to the airport, go somewhere, which I will do. But even like, I'm gonna try this drink by the way, on camera, Celsius, in a second. But just like, so many ideas walking through just Target alone, like Pokemon video, you know. Pokemon by uh, no limit, no budget, Pokemon card shopping spree at Target just would bang on the Pokemon channel, you know. Then I'm thinking like, I could do sports here as well, sports cards, I could do like going, there's so many TCG stores around here. Then I'm thinking Ace Grading, like it'd be good to get involved with the communities over here, like Ace Grading, get that pumping, get that going. And then I'm thinking like, Mr. Beast, chocolate in there, there's Prime in there, you know, there's like British guy tries American candy, there's, I'm gonna go to the, Carnival. The reason I'm not doing those things right now is I'm going to the carnival to go and try some fried butter, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> and then, you know, 
I'm gonna do bookies. I'm gonna do the the. I'm gonna do the HEV. Then I want to go to my, my, my 50 Cent show like I did yesterday. And then I want to go to my comedy shows. There's just so much to do here. I'm only here like a short amount of time. I'm here like four days pretty much. So it's not enough time. I should have gone longer, but I, I want to see Harper. And then I'm gonna go on another trip with uh, with I think it was with JJ and a few other the other boys, uh, which I let you know. And obviously I'll take you with me on the vlog. But yeah, anyway, first and foremost, let's try this Celsius Oasis vibe sparkling prickly pear lime edition, essential energy. Accelerates metabolism, burns body fat. No way, how does it do that? Well, I gotta boost my metabolism and burn body fat, so let's try it. Dinner. It's pretty good, actually. Wow, that's really nice. Zero sugar, but how about the calories? 10? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. 10 calories, wow, wow. Yeah, good drink, man. I've seen this everywhere on like, I think Jake Paul's been promoting it. Not that I watch Jake Paul, but I've seen it on, where? Theo Von's podcast, I saw it on Theo Von's podcast. So there you go, it's not Jake Paul, it's Theo Von who influenced me. All right, now let's get this magic mount on there. Why did I not do this first before I started filming that? This one's better than the one I had last trip, by the way. And also, I think this just connects to my phone. Yeah! Let's go, baby! And then, and then, pause, pause. I'm a little receiver out. And there we go, guys. Now you hear me. Let's go. And I can actually drive like this as well. I realized as well, last trip, there's nothing wrong with filming yourself and driving like this because I'm not on my phone at all. I'm talking normally. Like, Top Gear do it, you know? And then I see loads, loads of YouTubers do it. So it's fine, yeah. If I'm on my phone, then that's bad. But if I'm just up there, it's fine. Uh, the only problem I have, I can't use Apple CarPlay at the same time. Uh, apparently, you can't use CarPlay wirelessly, which is just stupid. But anyway, yeah, I should have tried this with this mount. But I'm going to try and take that back to the UK now, use it in the UK, and then use it on my trips. But ooh, I'm excited now. Let's go, baby. The one downside to it is that I can't use the back facing camera. I have to use the front facing camera, but I think it's fine. Maybe I'll get two phones. What do you, what do you guys reckon? Because then I could have like a filming camera like this, and then because now I need to find the directions, you know, and I need to use CarPlay. That might be a shout, you know, because that's what I liked about the Osmo is having like a, an additional way of filming when I'm using my phone. Uh, but Osmo has gone night night. One, because it broke and then two, because I left the SD card at home. But carnival time, baby. Deep fried Oreos, deep fried butter, deep fried ice cream. I don't want to try it all because I'm going to get sick. Well, let's be honest. It's big Randy you're talking about. I don't get sick. Ooh, anyway, I'm going to get directions. OK, here we go. Driving with Randy. The one thing I need to make sure though is I need to make sure the aircon's not on too loud, you know, because the mic's not ideal. I could get, oh, maybe I should have, if I thought about it, I should have bought one of those things where it splits the USB. So I can put two USBs into my phone. So I can put the mic and the thing for the Apple CarPlay. Uh, otherwise, I can't do directions, you know, because I'm filming and etc. But then, yeah, I might try that next time. Next time I come Target, get one of those things where I can do that. But yeah, driving in the US, I actually don't mind it. There's still a few parts that I don't quite get. Like, these stop signs are a little bit annoying. Because it's like, I have to fully stop, you know, but I get it. I think... What's the difference that like, we have in the UK? Do we have more traffic lights in the UK or something? Is that what stops it? Because they have like, oh, they have four cross roads, don't they? And sometimes I don't know whose like, right of way it is. That's what I sometimes struggle with. Like, whose right of way is it? Oh, I've gone wrong here again. Uh, although I think, I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Right only, that's fine. So I'm going right. But yeah, like certain rights of ways, I just don't quite understand. Like sometimes I'll be waiting for someone to go and they're like, now nah, you go. But I'm not sure if that's just me being like not confident or polite. Or, or being too polite, or if it's them just like saying you've got the right of way, I don't know that yet. Uh, turning right on red lights is also still scary because I'm like, I shouldn't be able to do this. Oh, here I'm turning left, cutting a lot, cutting across a lot of people, and then left again. Okay, Ooh, I'm gonna lose my job. Now I'm gonna do a fast food video where I go, like, you know, British guy uh, go, goes to all the US fast foods. There's so many videos I wanna film here, and uh, let me know as well if you guys are okay seeing singular videos on here sometimes I'm, I'm still gonna do daily vlogs but if i can pick up two or three extra videos while i'm out here i might as well right and it's too much pressure to put them on the main channel so i just put them on this vlog channel makes more sense the vlogs have kind of like lost their peak now when i first started it we were hitting like 50 60k on any vlog even like just weekend with harper was hitting like a quite a high view count and then now you know some stinkers get like 20k if it's not an interesting title it's 20k and i'm fine with it by the way my, my first goal was to get 30k on every single video we're doing so if you look at hindsight and you look at that then that means we are actually hitting that um even now we, we hit that goal because obviously some do like 50 60 70 80 and some do like you know over 100 and stuff so that's fine but yeah i've got uh, i've got the goal is to run this vlog for many, many years. And I think the better I do as a, as a creator in general, the better the vlogs will do as well, you know? So longevity is the goal. Uh, I mean, look at Syndicate obviously kills his vlog and he's getting like 150K on a minimum vlog and then like loads more beyond that. But that's because he's Tom Syndicate, you know what I'm saying? He's an actual goat in this uh, in this space. So all respect and all props goes to him. And uh, you know, even though you guys might say that you're a, oh, you're a goat, Randy. Like, you, I feel like I've done some good things in my life, you know? We've done some big music, you know, beers and stuff like that, and I have, you know, done things here and there, but I haven't felt like I've hit my 
full potential as a creator or individual yet and that's what I'm trying to do this year you know and that doesn't just stop at the vlog just because we had some good vlogs doesn't mean I'm there yet you know so so much more to work on music is one of them main channel is, main channel I'm kind of struggling what to do but I'm thinking just in general just kill what I, all, everything I'm doing you know Pokemon bring that up it's just like things that are personal to me so I don't have to look externally and think what are other people doing and how do I catch up to those that's not what I'm thinking here I'm thinking how do I fulfill Randy and how do I take Randolph to the full potential? And that is by doing what I do best, which is Pokemon, you know, in music and the vlogs, you know, stuff like that. Rather than looking at others and thinking, oh, can I do this, can I do that? It doesn't matter what they're doing, focus on what I'm doing. And that's the message to you guys as well. Place your strengths, you know? And if you and if you want to do something and you don't have it as a strength, then you've got to make it a strength. And that's what I did, by the way, at, back when I was a kid at college and stuff. Like, I was making so much music that I, I just got good at it. Um, and I don't think I'm necessarily talented at it, but I worked hard to be talented at it, if that makes sense. So, oh, there's a golf course. What is that? It's like pitch and put. It's such a tiny little hole. I'm pretty sure that's like a a golf pitch and put for the residents of that like neighborhood. So in America, they have like neighborhoods, they call it, I think. So like, you know how you get new residential places in the UK? They put some homes up, you know, like put like 200 houses on a, on a certain block or maybe less, you know, new builds and stuff. In America, they have like, Neighborhoods they call it and that where I went earlier the, 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 the football fields the baseball fields the softball fields That's all one neighborhood. That's how they, that's how they work it out and it's crazy and I am definitely interested in, in potentially buying like I would like to have a goal of buying some houses in America Because I think it'd be really sick specifically Texas. I think Texas is definitely like a up-and-coming place right now uh, In terms of value and stuff. So yeah, uh, specifically Austin Like I like Austin because it's like a lot of the comedians are moving there So if I do actually want a long long term try comedy, I don't know It seems like a nice little goal to have but yeah, I'm trying to get into this right lane now and I just uh, It's not really available to me. Also, by the way, I've learned in Texas no road rage Like no road rage in Texas because of guns, you know that's why no one honks each other. I'm glad I never did that, but you're not supposed to honk over here. Oh, my GPS is a bit laggy. All right, I'm gonna stop filming for a bit. Maybe the camera is lagging the GPS. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Just in the car right now. I've been here a little bit too long, to be fair. I've got the, the carnival and the rodeo happening next to me. Um, I'm just stressed, man, which I'll tell you why in a second. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the thumbnail I just quickly made. Here's the thumbnail. I'm obviously trying to, I'm trying to optimize the thumbnails a little bit more, I'm trying to make them a bit more meta while still keeping the screenshot aspect of them, if that makes sense. So it's like a screenshot from a selfie frame of the vlog. I think this is not bad. I'm obviously, I'm getting better at them, but I'm also like struggling at the same time. It's not the worst though. I don't, I don't mind this. Like, you know, Brit goes to the Texas Rodeo for the first time, uh, not too bad. A little bit of a problem that I have is that the internet was so bad at the hotel last night that I couldn't even get the footage uploaded. I might have to change hotel, even though I'll book this one tonight, just cause like getting the vlog footage to you guys, or to my editor to then get to you guys, is obviously quite important. Getting a new hotel is a cost that needs to happen for the vlog to then obviously, you know, this is income now. Um, for the, for the, for me and the future of my, well, Harper and <laughs> everything. Speaking of that, it's just that like every time I go on a trip as well, I just get aggro. And it's like, just gets gets to me, you know? And obviously I can't really go into much detail, but like, anyway, I'm gonna go to the rodeo, try and clear my head and just, it's just annoying, man. Ah! I'm definitely realizing that this is way more mentally taxing than I thought. I think it's because I did, did so well in the last trip. And since then, the boys have helped as well, just to like, get into my groove and these vlogs have been a really good thing for me you know it's got me back on track with work it's, it's been a distraction good income as well by the way thank you guys so much it's actually helping a lot more than you guys can understand then sometimes you just get hit with I guess reminders or, or certain things that you just don't really agree on and it kind of sets you back a little bit if I can get through this and most importantly do what I can for half of then I'll honestly have a lot more respect for myself and be a lot stronger you know and obviously i'm not going to talk about a lot of stuff on here but i'm sure I, i'm saying what I, i'm saying now and these kind of things that i'm saying just to let you guys know that i don't know i, I don't know what, i don't know really what i'm trying to say but just trying to try, i'm trying to vent with you guys and trying to just keep my head above water and just let you, know, you guys know that you're helping more than you, you realize you know and it just made me emotional because I don't know, but just, yeah, never forget that. I don't know, never, never forget that. It's, I don't know. But anyway, I need to get back into the zone now, try some carnival food and give you guys a good vlog. This is what I do, right? It's my, my job. And although, I, yeah, I'm spending money on flying and getting over here and stuff like that, but I don't know. Like, this is, 
what I'm doing now, it's part of my job, you know, I'm trying to maintain these vlogs and I'm still obviously trying to, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not trying to not enjoy myself. I'm happy to enjoy myself and do fun things, but end of the day, I'm gener gen generating income, you know, I'm making more on this vlog than I'll be doing sat at home whinging, crying about everything, you know, so yeah. I just want it all to be done so I can stop apologizing for being who I am, you know, and then just work for Harper. Here we are, back again, NRG Stadium. This time not going in there, this time going to the carnival to try and, uh, yeah, try some good food and show you guys what this is all about. I feel like people who click on this kind of stuff expecting just carnival, just rodeo, just Texas stuff are gonna be shocked and thinking, wow, this guy is uh, actually going really deep. Why is he doing all this extra waffle? But if you're a newcomer, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you connect with these vlogs more than you would if it was just showing you the food and stuff. All right, here we go. We've made it into the carnival. I'm gonna take you through everywhere. I think the first thing we do is to go and buy a hat, you know, a, a Texas cowboy hat. And there are definitely some places where you can get really high quality ones, but I just want one that's a little bit throwaway so I can throw it away if I need to, you know. Apparently like $75 upwards, which is still, that's fine, that's fine, I think. They are trying to rinse it, isn't it? That's fine, it's a fair, right? But I want like a darker one. Let me try them on. How's that one? I feel like it's too like Indiana Jonesy, you know? And also it doesn't fit me, I've got a big head. If I put it on, will you tell me if it fits or not? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. That's perfect. You're good? Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, okay. It look, I mean, it looks good to me, but I'm not sure whether you're like, ah, oh, nice, you know. Yeah, okay, great, great. We got one, all hatted up. Here we go. Rodeo Randy. Cowboy Randy, onward and upwards. Wait, what? No. Uh, Rodeo Randy here for takeoff. I don't know what I'm saying. I have no idea. Also, I'm really confused. I took my mic wire off to go through the machines and security because I thought wearing a wire is not the, the best thing to do when you go through security. And then now I can't find my clip, so I'm wearing the mic probably for the rest of the trip. But here is the food look. So apparently they just fry everything here. And I want to, obviously I want to try the fried stuff. I feel like that's the main attraction or the main thing, you know. I've had fried Oreos before. I don't really want just fried Oreos. I want the extra ridiculous fried stuff. If I can find it. I heard ice cream is a thing, like fried ice cream. So I want to see if that's true or not. Fried Snickers, fried cheesecake, fried cookie dough, fried butter. I've got to go for the fried butter, right? Can I get the, the fried butter? The, the butter. 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 Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> I think they're the fried Oreos. Wait, what is that? Fried though. Oh, is it on top of it? You see how the, the bottom one? What, what's, what's the fried butter? The fried butter? People say it tastes like pancakes. It looks like this one. But I think it has more. You just eat butter? Okay, I'll just, yeah, I'll try that. Can I get that? Oh, yeah, here we go. Thank you, thank you. Cheers, cheers. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So, yeah, it's just literally fried butter. Let me try and find somewhere to film this. I might have to rest it on a, a bit, I can't lie. All right, I'm praying I'm in shot. Hoping no one steals this. This is fried butter, guys. Literally. Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, fried butter, let's go. Oh, wait. So it tastes like butter, but nothing's in it. Is it just, is it just fried for the sake of it? Just put butter there and fry it, that's crazy. Hello, <laughs> hello. Who knows, anyway, I'm getting weird looks, I'm eating on a bin, so let me move a little bit. All right, I'm trying to find what's next to eat. You've got the, what's that? Cotton candy, candy apples, popcorn, Corn dogs, lemonade. I mean, that all sounds pretty normal to be fair. That one that I went to, there's got all the weird fried stuff. I probably should have ordered everything from there, but I want to go to a few different establishments, you know, to make sure we're getting the right one. There is some rides as well, but I probably won't do the rides because I'm on my own. And I feel like I can't film it very well, you know? But this is cool though. Oh, should I do that? I might do that up there. I gotta go buy some tickets to be able to get on that uh, cable car thingy. A little squirt, what the hell? Love it, so let's say. But yeah, let's get 40 tickets, $20, Apple Pay. Oh my God, the queues look very really long. The lines, oh my God, the lines so long. I've got my tickets, the lady who sold me the tickets, she said she loves the contraption that I've got, my vlogging stuff, which I, I'm happy about that, thank you. You know, you should tell that to a man like Cal Freezy, you know, who, uh, who prefers the, uh, what do you call it, the Osmo. The only thing I don't like is when I'm filming like this, everyone can see the frame, like everyone can see my phone face in that way, you know, which is a bit weird. Whereas the Osmo is like, no one knows what I'm doing, you know, and the, the camera faces me. Anyway, here we go, here we go. I might stop recording and then start recording when I'm on there just so I don't drop my phone or my belongings. I'm sure you guys won't mind that, right? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I think so. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Thank you. Woo, we on, baby. Oh, wait, why, why when I got on it, it started slowing down? <laughs> that, is, uh, that is something that lets me know that I've not uh, lost enough weight yet. But here we go. 
Woo, baby. My no two ways are a little bit too big for my feet. What if they fall off and hit someone? And they all hurt someone because these are good quality shoes, man. Good quality crepes. Oh my God, look at this. Woo. Woo. Wow, what a view. There we go, look at that. Look at the view of the stadium, the view of the walkway. Absolutely sick. Wow. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, 21 as well, which is big in America. You can drink now, congrats, lady. <laughs> See, in the UK, you wouldn't get people like that, you know? Although, look at this. No more friends for a long while. Do I do the whole mansion? Oh, it's just bro, I gotta bring the troops to Texas. I've been trying to persuade them. Texas is a spot, man. Toby might come. The rest of them are un, un uh, what do you say, un persuaded yet, but I wanna try and get them here, man. Cause it's just, I don't know why the energy just, I realize when people say, why do you love Texas? I don't know why I don't give them this answer. I've realized now why I love it. It's because it's like, obviously I'm from the countryside, right? Or the Midlands. I am from the countryside. I'm from like the, the Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire. And like, I think Houston, Austin, especially those two, it feels like a cross between London and a cross between the countryside where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Because you get all the rural stuff, you get like the supermarkets. Like I love going to Big Tesco, like I told you earlier, because it's like, oh, there's nothing to do there. You go to Tesco, go get some snacks and stuff. And then like, this feels the same. It feels like you have all that stuff, like all the cute little community stuff, like fast food places or restaurants. Hello, hello. <laughs> Rodeo, uh, all the fast food stuff, and then you also, not, oh, sorry, all the supermarkets, like you just get rural and city life together in like the same city, if that makes sense. It's just, that's what that's the vibe I think I would tell people. And also everyone's just really happy here. I kind of forgot to film the actual stuff below. We got some more stuff. Where, how far does this go? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna come straight back though. It's a one way thing, but I wanna kinda come back on it. Flying Dutchman, Skyball Classics. There's roller coasters here and stuff, wow. Look at that Euroslide thing. That's massive. I should probably go on it. If I'm European, I should go on it, right? That's like a, that's like a honor of rights. Oh, should I do the wheel? Maybe I do the wheel next. That feels like a safe ride to take my phone on, you know? Give you guys some content. Oh, right, leave a like, man. Subscribe to this. I love this kind of stuff. Just chilling about on a cable car. Maybe I should be alone forever, man. I actually would like, I kind of prefer that. I'm not gonna lie. Although you need some love, don't you? You need some sort of like comfort, I think. What is that in there? What is that in there? Is it just toilets? I, I bought a ticket for this. I'm not sure if I bought a ticket for the carnival or grounds. I wonder if I can go and see like, the, the cattle and like the, the, you can buy like cows and stuff. I'm not gonna obviously buy a cow, but like you can. Wow, wait, you can get tickets there. I queued up, for what? For what, man? I gotta do a full walkthrough, right? Yeah, let me, let me get down. And I, I can't right now, obviously, but I'll get down and film some more stuff. I'll just show you the attractions. Rather than going on like the roller coaster, I'll just show you them, you know? A lot of water fun. Water race fun, water fun. Water gun fun, all the water, all the fun. You know what the kids are doing last night where they were racing in like on the sheep trying to not fall off? Can you do that yourself? I, I'm not gonna do it obviously, I'm too big, I'll, I'll kill the sheep. Oh my God, I just noticed that I wasn't filming on 0.5 for a lot of that, so here we go. More, more 0.5 fun, enough enjoying this on my own. I'm enjoying the content I'm giving you guys. That's the enjoyment, right? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Bro, that's what I mean. In America, like that guy, that guy literally said to me, like, put the camera on, put the camera on. They love being on camera in America, man. Whereas in the UK, people don't do this, man. I think you can go and see animals. I'm gonna go see the animals, let's go. You guys saw last time, when I went back to the UK, in London, the, the first day I vlogged, I realized the difference straight away. <laughs> I realized, honestly, straight away the difference between like people smiling and wanting to be on camera, i.e. in America, to just like, it was just awkward. Yo, I'm actually really nervous to get off this thing. How do you get off? I'm so nervous, <laughs> I, can't, I can't lie to you. Can you see the fur on my face? Getting off is harder than getting on, surely. Do I have to run? I can't run. Oh, you just stand up, okay. That, that, right, that right there, guys, is the definition of overthinking. Absolute overthinker. Hello. Oh, you, okay, you just stand up. Thank you. You just stand up, that's crazy. I'm such an overthinker, man. Bro, look how big that squirtle is. I'm gonna go show you how huge that squirtle pushy is. They're massive. <laughs> hello, hello. That's huge. Oh yeah, hi, sorry, can I get a cup of ice cream, please? Goodness me, a cup of ice cream. Okay, I'm here at the back, so I'm not filming anybody. This looks cool, man. So the sheep are over there, and the uh, people are gonna be over there, I guess, right? And they're gonna jump on it, or ride it. All right, now, hands clapping, and feet stomping all at once. Keep going, keep it going. And, at one, two, three, yee-haw, yee-haw! Yee-haw! Yeah! <laughs> and it's gonna be coming fast and it's gonna be coming right at you. 
I think it's time to announce our clowns that we have on the dirt. These clowns are here to protect the sheep and the kids. First, I'm gonna start off to your right. First one, we're gonna start out with, not paying attention, we'll start out with Bambi. Give it up for Bambi. Woo. Bambi? Oh, not Bambi. All right, oh, next up right here, we have Hawk. Ooh, Give it up for Hawk. Next up, we have Skip. Skip, Skip to I my guess Skip, room. Hawk, and Bambi are yeah. all clown names, hey? Last but not least, we got Valentine. Valentine. Here we go. All right, our first rider is Goriel from Houston, Texas. Woo. His favorite food is cotton candy. Me too, man. He likes checking out the cows at the livestock show. When he grows up, he's going to be a Me geologist. Too. Geologist. Oh, Riding Lamborghini, folks. This is one of our fastest sheep out Another here. Lady? Houston livestock show. Come on, make some noise. Oh, 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 oh. He's holding oh, on. Come on. <laughs> All right, folks, get our show off to a great start, making it three quarters of the way down the arena. Come on, you go, 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 go. Uh, folks, with the one arm dismount. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, folks, that young yeah, couple that he made it. Yes, he made it. That was wall. sick. Braden Hernandez, also from Houston, Texas, going to grow up to be a cowboy. Cowboy. Loves to eat a turkey leg. Who is he riding? Riding Felice Lightning. Another fast one, folks. Come on, Houston, are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Next one. All right, light them up, folks. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Marine, respect wow. that. The Marine. Riding champion sheep, another oh, one of okay. our fast ones. Are you ready to make some noise? <laughs> Check out that ride again. Yeah, how are you getting fast, furious, going on all the way? Oh, my God. There's one Right, Love seeing the sheep at the livestock show. Riding Lindsay Lowe Lamb. Come on, he's done! Oh, 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 Jackman. Pat, you Jackman up next. Let's see what this one can do. Alright, it says here that out of the carnival she wants to win a unicorn. Oh, oh, oh. Who did we all? Come on! Oh, 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 oh. Woo! East Wall. Clint Eastwall. Come on, you still let's hear it! Look at me, look at Man, we got some good rides here, folks. Now, I want to bring two individuals out. out real high. Hi, Helio, the high. main event. Show everybody. Me and my sheep. Clean <laughs> Right, it's starting to get busy here. By the way, they were doing like a presentation with all the, the kids who did the mutton busting at the end, and they don't want to film that obviously, but they asked one of the people, like one of the kids, like, oh, have you trained for this before? Oh, I don't know, they asked it, and they asked the kids, have you done this before? And she goes, no. And then they were like, have you trained for this before? And she's like, no. <laughs> she won, she won the whole thing, by the way. Okay, apparently I heard this deep fried Coke, not that, you know, the drink. Um, so I'm trying to find that, but I feel like it's just gonna taste the same as the butter, right? It's just gonna be like a big fried ball with, Coke flavor to it. I thought they were actually gonna deep fry some sort of like actual liquid in there. Like you bite into it and liquid just comes out. Okay, I gotta get this. Reese's deep fried Reese's Big Cup in a cowboy hat. Deep fried Snickers, deep fried cheesecake, deep fried Nutella, deep fried peanut butter Reese's Cup, deep fried ice cream, deep fried Twinkie. Oh my word. Hi, can I get the deep fried uh, Reese's Cup? Thank you. There we go. All right. Deep fry Reese's cook. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. That is good actually. That's actually good. Wow. That is 10 out of 10 by the way. That one's legit. Wow. That was my favorite one for sure. Probably not all over my mouth. Deep fried Reese's cook. By the way, Reese's is my favorite chocolate anyway. I love that. Now I want to try and find the boot full of Coke. Coca Cola. What is this? What is this? Gravity. Gravity. Come on over. 
We need two more players, a couple more players. Sorry, two more players. Yeah, two if I was not players. solo, I'd do a few of these games. Just a quick walkthrough, just to show you what this place is all about. I feel like a lot of the cameras been on me so far. I'm gonna show you. This is like Winter Wonderland in the UK, but on steroids and in Texas. Oh, oh. big skillet cookie. What's going on? Hey, what's good? How's it going? Nice to see you. No, you want a picture? Let's get a picture, man. Why not? Why not? If you want one. Hell yeah, man. Might as well. Might as well. I fucking love y'all. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, you take it. Take it. Hey, we're international in this. This is why I keep thinking like the boys could come, but I don't think JJ could come through here. To be fair, it gets too much attention. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. The boot. I found the boot. Let's go. Wait, what can they get in that? Hold on. Hello. How'd you get the the boot? You know, you know the boot. You put anything in it. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. What's the what's the most popular drink in the boot? In the boot, we yeah. usually get uh, the cherry slushy. Can I try that? Thank you, thank you. All right, cherry slushy in a boot. Let's go. There it goes. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I'm excited for my, my boots. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. Take care. Wow, wow, look at my boot. Oh, hello. Yeah, what's up, man? How's it going, how's it going? Say hello to the vlog. Let's go. I got, look at this, what I got. It's a slushy boot. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah. You know what you got? Is this your first time here? Yeah. You gotta try deep fried Oreos, turkey leg. I've tried deep fried Oreo before, but I've tried today at deep fried butter. Oh, I never had that. It's not great. And then I had a deep fried Reese's cup. Ah, That's pretty cool okay. too. Is yeah. Cool to yeah, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. The brisket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good one. Nice to meet you. Take care, man. Take care. Take care. What's up? What's up? What's up? How's it going? I'm Australia. I love you, man. Australia. Yeah, Australia. Why are you guys here? We're um, studying here. Us two. Oh, Australia. okay, okay. Australia. Yeah. Australia. Can we have a photo? Yeah, of course, of course. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where are you from? You from here? Uh, yes, yeah, Okay, here. cool. These guys are from Australia, that's why I want to check. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, who are you? Yeah. I just do YouTube, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing too special. Okay. Unfortunately, they know who I am. Yeah. It's best if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously joking, guys. If you don't know, get to know. Randy, big Randy. But I got this boot, hug it. It was taste test, let's go, let's go. That's good to be fair. I don't know if I want to eat like or drink like a whole boot of like slush. I should have got like Coke or water. That was a more responsible choice. But here we are. We're in the uh, the carnival with a big boot of. <laughs> they, they love it, man. They love me in the video. Got brisket potato, burgers, turkey. Apparently, turkey legs are sick. I had one though in. I had one in Disney though when I went with Laura once, and I didn't like the uh, turkey legs at all. Oh, there were smoked ones in Harry Potter world. Oh, Universal, sorry, Universal. Get it right, Randy. Tater twisters, deep fried nachos. That's too far. Hello, what's good? Nice to see you, nice to see you. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Oh, they're so nice here, man. They're so nice. All right, let me try and get an actual walk through this time for you. I'm gonna keep moving this time. I'm gonna keep it moving. Let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness, mate. It's Pikachu, Pokemon Heaven. See that, guys? You've got Pikachu. Oh, I thought they were more Pokemon. They should be Pikachu. To be fair, by the time Gen 12 comes around in Pokemon, they'll be actual Pokemon. They're about to start? I don't think they're about to start. Are they getting off? Oh, some technical difficulties. I'm taking too long. Oh, that one's cooking, though. Hey, she's vibing. Let's go. That looks sick. That looks sick. I love these things, by the way. If I was with the boys, I'd get in that right now. Should I do it? Nah, I can't do it. I'm too grown for that on my own. It's the wrong attitude, though. That's not what I'm teaching you guys. I'm teaching you guys live life. <laughs> they love it here, man. Oh, we've got a roller coaster here. You know what? The roller coasters look actually pretty good, you know? Honestly. For a carnival? What do you guys call these? It's Winter Wonderland in the UK, obviously. We have Goose Fair in Nottingham. I don't know if you guys know about the Goose Fair. I'm not sure why it's called Goose Fair at all, but that's what it's called. Hot fresh pizza. For a minute, I thought it was going to say deep fried pizza, but it's not. It's just normal pizza. This is sick at night, though. I came at the right time, I think. Look at the views now, beautiful. Look at that, 4K goodness. Before I leave, I'm gonna go and do the cable car again, the other way around. I think I've got some more tickets left. I'll check. Uh, so yeah, I'll do that, and then I will... I might call it there to be fair. I'm having fun though, but you know, it's good to get the footage uploaded for the vlog and all that jazz. And I've shown you the food. I've shown you some festivities here. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I would need to try every deep fried thing for the vlog. I'll show you what there is. I feel like that's enough. But if you want me to come try some more, let me know. I'll do this again. I could do a whole video on it, but I feel like it's best to show you glimpses of the environment, you know. I think my goal with all this is to be successful enough to be able to bring Harper to these kind of things when she's old enough and take her on all this stuff, to take her on these kind of trips and, uh, I thought you were saying Randy, take her on these kind of trips and, yeah, her have a good time. 
So that's my goal. So to be successful enough to just do that. Which I think I am so far, so I'm gonna keep it going and just elevate that, you know, but we'll get there. It would be sick, should love all this stuff. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. <laughs> that's sick. Taking it in though. That was sick man. But yeah, long story short, Harper here would should love it. When she's like four or five, take it to Texas, take it to all these places, you know? Um, and more. I'm gonna give you guys just some pure footage, if you don't mind, of this incredible carnival. Now I know it's probably not everyone's cup of tea, and it's just a carnival, but they do it big here, man. And I was surprised how big this was, you know? Like when you first see it walking in, when I saw it last night at the 50 Cent concert, I was like, oh, okay, cool, a carnival, but you know, how big really is it? And then, yeah, it just stretches and stretches and stretches. Stretch Armstrong. I loved the show last night in there, in the arena. It was so, wow, that was an awful point, by the way. I pointed to the sky there. So sick, 50 Cent is my favorite artist and like, bro, he just killed it. And every song's a banger, you notice that? Every single song is an absolute hood certified banger, classic. And uh, it's just amazing to see that. I enjoyed the crowd more. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy the UK crowd because the UK is my, my, my hometown, but I think more people in this show last night knew more of the lesser known songs, you know? Uh, which was nice to see. And then when Flowrider came out, I'm not sure if Flowrider made the vlog yesterday, but when he brought Flowrider out and he was doing uh, Apple Bottom Jeans, what's that, is that song called that? Yeah, it's called that, right? No, Low, 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 it's called Low. Just one Low. When that song came on, this place went crazy. Because you gotta remember, that song was big for us in the UK, right? Imagine if you were in high school when that dropped. Like, it just that's an absolute banger, you know, and the crowd went crazy. I'm gonna, actually, actually, I'm gonna watch that clip right now because it makes me happy. We're in Texas, it's not a port a it's a port bull <laughs> Here we go, time to get off. It's the worst part. We all know how it went last time. This is a long vlog today, I hope you don't mind. Hopefully you've enjoyed this long one. I, I keep thinking, is it better to cut short? But I think, nah, leave it all in, you know? All in. All right, how's it going? <laughs> sure, sure, thank you. Let's go. Uh, let's go, easily done, man. All right, here we go, time to say goodbye to the carnival. But I had a good time. I definitely did have a good time. Don't get it twisted. It was sick, enjoyed it. Um, this is a perfect spot to bring someone man, as well. Like not not, not like a partner. Oh, I'm saying like a friend as well. Just friend, super friend. He just looks sick, man. It looks really sick. And Harper one day. God willing, Harper will be here. But anyway, time to cook. Here we go. Good time though. Great time. Good fun. Great fun. Here we go. All done and dusted. I think I might head to the hotel right now. Get everything charged. Uh, try and upload some footage. Do some thumbnail work. Do some video planning work. And then maybe head out again tonight uh, to do some more filming. We'll see. But I think if I do that, I'll do it as a separate video. I could do the video, you know the videos I mentioned to you about like trying Mr. Beast Feastables in a separate video or trying the new Prime in a separate video? I could do it main channel and give it Calder's life to edit. I think that would still do well on there. Or I just run it as an additional vlog episode. I'm gonna ask the Kofi members again in a minute. Um, Cause I'm not afraid of putting stuff like that on the main channel. Like the new video I did on there, uh, trying to, or I ate the whole KFC menu. It's on like 130K, it's not bad. It's not the worst for a solo video, I don't mind that, you know? I think I've got a lot of pressure to try and get 500K plus, you know, but Ultimately, I'm blessed to get anything, you know? Uh, so I, still, I think I just could run with that, you know? My, my hope, hope with the main channel, I think, is that I have, like, studio videos with the boys. So maybe I get people like Arthur, George involved, and do, like, trying food videos with them. And then also, like, Simon and the boys and stuff. And then also doing, like, maybe more produced main channel videos, like the McDonald's one, the Sideman Car one, when those ideas come around, you know? If not, just studio videos. What do you guys think of that? Here we are, back in the lift, with the yes, no. Is it door hold? Open, close. What's yes and what's no? And then, woo. There we go, we in here. Ah, oh, it's been cleaned, lovely jubbly. I know I thought I was gonna change hotel, but I haven't yet. If I do, I'll let you know. I don't think I will though. CJ got the footage somehow. Like he said it's not uploaded, but he got all the footage. Honestly, an incredible day. Apart from that little kerfuffle in the middle where I was in my feelings a little bit. But it just shows you when you do go and do something, for yourself, just completely different. It does take a mind off it. My version was a silly carnival, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's just a carnival. Not that crazy, but it's just a metaphor. If you're going through something, if something's tough, don't dwell on it. Just take your mind off it, go and do something. Whether that's something you've been procrastinating on, whether it's your work, schoolwork, work work, you know, or whether that's just seeing family or seeing a loved one or, you know what I'm saying? Just don't dwell. Bad things happen, fuck it. What are we gonna do about it? We can't keep thinking about it. It just makes it worse, you know? And you can't change things. You can't change what has happened. You can't change where you are in terms of the past, but you can change your future 
But most importantly, you can change your presence. That's what I'm realizing. Your presence right now, or the presence, sorry, you can change your present. Right now, you can sit there in bed, or you can sit there doing whatever you're doing, or you can go and do something, you know? It doesn't matter what it is. Walk, run, gym, apply yourself, do just anything. Just go and do something that makes you, that, that, Flipping egg. But yeah, right now I'm gonna work on thumbnails, work on titles, work on video concepts for tomorrow. I'm gonna upload this footage and then maybe if we do something later, I will let you know. Um, but I think other than that, it's just bedtime for me. Rest and recovery. P.S. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I always appreciate it. If you can leave a like, if you can subscribe, I would love that. And uh, yeah, here's the 2024 us. I came back, some bonus footage for the vlog. Realized I left my bag in the car. Came downstairs to get the bag out of the car. Got downstairs, realized that I left my car key in the room. So, back we go. And once again, yeah, I'm with my nemesis. What does that mean? I'm just, I'm just gonna click it. No, I didn't click it. What do you mean? And on that note, good night.